Today, I'm delighted to bring you a special video where I'll be explaining how to use Dindalod. In fact, I've wanted to create a detailed video on Dindalod for quite some time, and now I finally have the opportunity. I've crafted the video to be as easy to understand as possible, so please watch it all the way through, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Firstly, let's talk about Dindalod. Dindalod is a toolset for generating Skyrim LOD mods. LOD refers to the level of detail, adjusting the details of objects or trees in the distance. While Dindalod is based on the XLOD gen tool, it is a more advanced and user-friendly version. With Dindalod, you can enhance tree and object LODs and optionally add dynamic LOD glowing LOD, grass LOD, hide data, and terrain under the surface. We delve into this further. Dindalod enhances the level of detail for trees, buildings, cities, and other objects, making objects in the field of view appear more naturally. This contributes to a more vibrant and realistic game world, even when viewed from a distance. Dindalod also supports dynamic LOD, adapting to changes that occur within the game. As LOD adjusts based on factors like time and weather changes, it adds a dynamic quality to the game world, offering an overall richer experience and visual enhancement. However, since each player uses a different set of mods, the LOD tailored to each player's preferences varies. Consequently, players need to create their own LOD to suit their individual setups, and for this task, Dindalod is indispensable. Therefore, later we will explain to you how to install Dindarod and how to use it, so please watch until the end. To use Dindalod, you'll need a few necessary components. You must download Dindolod Resources SE from Tesnexus. Additionally, you can download Dindolod itself from Tesnexus by searching for Dindolod 3 Alpha. I'll explain how to use these tools based on Mod Organizer. Firstly, you need to register two programs in Mod Organizer. The first one is Textgen X64, which is located in the folder where you installed Dindolod. Register Textgen X64.exe and enter SSE in the Arguments field. Press Apply. The second one is Dindalod, which is similar to Textgen. Enter SSE in the Arguments field and press Apply. When starting Textgen through Mod Organizer, there might be cases where you can't run Textgen due to specific mods. In such cases, you need to deactivate those mods and run TextGen again. If you encounter a warning message during this process, like in my case, you can click Ignore and Proceed. When the TextGen Options window is activated, you'll see a screen like this. Depending on your computer's specifications, you can choose higher capacity texture sizes for better visuals or opt for lower capacity textures for improved performance. In the billboard settings, there are options for HD grass and HD tree. If you want to test their impact on your Skyrim's FPS, you can check them, but I chose not to. Click the start button, and from here, the program will automatically generate the textures. It takes about two minutes, and when the process is complete, you'll be prompted to either close the program or create a zip file and then close it. Choose to create a zip file and save it. Afterward, in the folder where Dindalod is installed, you'll find a TextGen output zip file. Install it as you would with any other mod. Now it's time to run Dindalod. But first, check and activate the TextGen output you just installed. Both Dindalod resources and TextGen output must be active. Then, run Dindalod through Mod Organizer. When you first launch it, a screen like this will appear. You don't need to check anything here, just press Advanced. This allows you to configure Dindalod in more detail. In my case, I check all the boxes at the top, then check Object LOD, Ultra, Dynamic LOD, 
glow windows, and occlusion. Set max the size LOD to 1024 quality and max tile size full to 256. These are my personal settings, so please use them as a reference. You can save or load configuration presets, and if you're using Season of Skyrim, make sure to check Seasons. Once the settings are done, press OK, and Dindalod will begin generating LOD. It's an automatic process, and in my case, it took about 15 minutes. Like TechSkin, create a zip file, check Dindalod output through Mod Organizer, and then launch the game. When you launch Skyrim, you should check if the LODs added by mods are displaying correctly. Occasionally, if you've installed something incorrectly, LODs might generate strangely. For instance, if tree LODs appear incorrectly, you should deactivate mods with such LOD data, rerun TechSkin and Dindalod, and then check again. In the MCM, Dindalod is likely to be activated. While you might not use it often, if you intend to update or uninstall Dindalod, deactivate Dindalod is active. Keep in mind that if you deactivate it, you'll need to wait inside a cell for a few days. Furthermore, the MCM can display your current location, and in the settings, you can check values like Time for Fade In from Black and Never Fade Maximum. You can also use Dindalod DLL SE. Dindalod uses Papyrus Util for dynamic LOD, but if you install Dindalod DLL SE, it uses Dindalod DLL instead of Papyrus Util. Various building and tree mods are continually released on Test Nexus, and if you regularly add new mods, it's advisable to run the Dindolod program periodically to update your LODs. However, note that while Dindolod can greatly enhance the detail and variety of Skyrim's distant landscapes, it can also be resource-intensive, potentially causing a significant drop in your Skyrim's frame rate. Therefore, it's essential to consider your computer's specifications and choose options accordingly. There you have it, fellow Skyrim adventurers. You've successfully navigated the intricate process of installing and using Dindalod. Your Skyrim world is now enriched with detailed LOD, providing a more immersive and visually stunning experience. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for more exciting Skyrim modding content. Until next time, happy modding.